Hello and welcome to my painting video. In this video I'll be painting a Terrorgeist. This huge undead bat is part of the Flash Eater Courts and is also a monster that can be tamed in the Warcry game. This cool model was included in the Start Collecting box set which I purchased for my Warcry Warband. It took me a while to figure out how to paint him because I didn't want to use the exact same color scheme of my ghouls. I wanted to make him stand out more. Let me show you how I painted this big bat. I primed the model with Wraithbone and kept sub-assemblies to make the painting a bit easier. First I base coated the entire skeleton with Skeleton Horde. I applied this thickly. Next I will give the skeleton a wash of Agrax Earthshade, just to dirty up the skeleton a bit more. If you're already happy with the skeleton you can either skip this step or water down the Agrax Earthshade. Lastly I will dry brush the skeleton with Usapti Bone. This is an easy start for the model. I am not showing it here but I am also painting the skeleton bits on the wings and claws. I recently painted muscles with the unmade model. So I wanted to try a different approach. First I base coat the muscles with Volupius Pink. Then I apply a wash of Karoburg Crimson to darken the muscles a bit more. The first highlight is Emperor's Children. Try to make thin lines. Next I do the same but I mix the Emperor's Children with some white scar. The last highlight is pure white scar. To make the muscles more bloody and shiny I thin down some blood for the blood god. Here's an alternative way of painting muscles. It still looks gross. Which way of painting muscles is your favorite? I decided to paint the fleshy bits a purplish sick looking color. First I base coat with Rekarth Flesh. Then I wash the skin with a thin down shyish purple. I mix this color with Lamia Medium. This works way better than water. To make the skin look more like, well, skin I give it a wash of Reikland Flesh Aid. See how I'm getting some interesting colors here. There are some flaps of skin underneath which I will wash with some non oil just to get a bit of variation in the layers. Then I dry brush the skin with Rakarth Flash to get some highlights going. And the last dry brush is Palette Witch Flash. I also decided to paint the inside of the ears and the nose a different color. I used the contrast paint Blood Angel Red. This is a way to paint some sickly skin and it works really well with the exposed bone and muscle tissue. First I washed the Wraith Bone base coat with Drakenhof Nightshade. I didn't clean the base coat which I should have done. Unfortunately the skeleton horde kept shining through. Now I will give the wings a wash of known oil. I only wash the areas that are connected to the bone. Give the wings a dry brush of Celestra Grey. If there is almost no paint left on the brush and you keep applying you'll get a nice gradient effect. The last dry brush is Wraith Bone. The wings gave me a bit of trouble as I believe they make or break the model. I decided against purple wings and instead went for this blue gray wings. I think they look great with the rest of the color scheme. Now we're getting to some details on the model. First I base coat the hair with some Leviathan blue. Either dry brush or paint the highlights on the hair. 
The first color I use is Thunderhawk Blue. As a final highlight, I use Hoeth Blue. The dark blue hair really breaks up the model nicely and adds some nice contrast to the skin. I didn't want the teeth and claws to also have a bone color, so I base coated them with Basiliconum Grey. And I gave them a highlight of Wraith Bone. And here we have a fully painted Terrorgeist. It looks great and still fits with my flashier ghouls on the battlefield. If the model doesn't look gross enough, you can always go to town with some blood for the blood god. Don't forget to add a bit of texture paint in to smear his mouth and claws with some chunky bits of gore. I personally wanted a more cleaner look this time, but I might gross him up a bit later. One final tip when assembling this model. If you want sub-assemblies, please tape off the areas that need to be glued. I didn't do that and it gave me a lot of trouble to put the damn thing together. What would you like to see me paint next? Let me know and thanks for watching.